The vast majority of the projects that this company is working on right now fall into the category of mega projects. They, they typically range anywhere from four or five billion dollars up to as much as 13 billion dollars in, in the case of Energy East. And as I think almost anybody would realize today, uh, the, the elements of a company that you need to bring together to be successful in executing on one of these mega projects are very, very different than they were even five years ago. We can put in place standards and expectations that are common to all the projects and hopefully by, by, by standardizing uh, the, the effort that we're putting into these, these projects, I hope we're going to have a better end product. The base businesses, the operating businesses, need to have a focus on continuing to deliver shareholder value and earnings in the near term. And you know, there's, there's, uh, we've we've demonstrated that in the past that by turning our attention to you know a focus on revenue enhancements, focus on costs, that we can uh, extract more value out of the, the assets that we are currently operating. So, you know, I think in in energy, I'm trying to turn uh, you know, my attention to that personally and, and, and uh, the energy team's attention to that so that we're focused on, on delivering as much value out of our existing operations as we can. I think by the end of this year, when we get the LDC settlement done on the Canadian mainland, the Canadian mainland will be set up for years to come with a good tolling structure that supports new investment and takes care of the old investment we've had. The A&R system in our U.S. pipeline business is going to be full, it's going to be full it's for many, many years. We have, caught, we have uh, put over two BCF of new gas on that system in long-term contracts, and that's going to be full for, for, for a long, long time. Now, the Mexico operation should be well on its way and continue growing, and uh, hopefully with our LNG business, hopefully we've progressed to the point where our customers can make some uh, final investment decisions to go forward. There can be a lot of misinformation out there and it's important for us to be in front of our, our stakeholders, be it shareholders, um, uh, bondholders, credit rating agencies, other stakeholders in the capital markets and make sure that they are getting up-to-date information, candid um, information from the company and the ability to ask questions. And it is a global capital market now, um, so we, you know, we have a, a solid and growing shareholder base outside of North America, uh, which, is, uh, which is very good for the company going forward. I'm a firm believer in our corporate values. Um, I, I believe that our people embody them, um, and as a leader, I encourage them. So I don't think we could achieve on what we have to achieve if we don't model those values and behaviors. So from innovation to collaboration to integrity and respect, those are the core, um, and that's what I, I see us being. No one's going to succeed in this company alone. We're only going to succeed as a team, and we're going to, we're going to succeed only if we collaborate and cooperate and communicate with each other. Um, as a team, we are stronger individually. Um, we're just not going to achieve what we could uh, otherwise. To be a part of this team that is going to take TransCanada from a $60 billion enterprise value to um, an 80 or $90 billion enterprise value is truly something that uh, I look forward to. What's important is that you get out and you have a discussion on all the great things we are doing, not just to improve our business, but the industry in general. Through the development of new technologies, you know, we're, we're really working hard at you know, leak prevention and leak prevention technologies. And we are a leading player in the industry to improve on the overall safety uh, of uh, operating pipelines and, and power plants. You know, I think you lead by example uh, is, is kind of number one for me. Um, so you can 
talk the talk, uh, but it's what people see you do every day and how they behave. You learn that raising a family. Uh, your children watch you very closely, and no matter what you tell them, they watch what you do. So I think I think that's number one. Uh, somebody that actually uh, that actually. Uh, walks the talk. I think living by our values in this organization, understanding what our values are and that they actually translate into decisions that you make every day. Um, and then understanding that you're here to serve as a leader. You're not here to command and control. You're here to enable your people, to give them what they need to do their work and to be better. tremendous opportunity in, in this marketplace today, unlike we've ever seen in, in our history. Um, but at the same time, there's huge challenges. Uh, my job is to see us through those challenges and see us through to the finish line. And, and at the core of that is, is leading by example, um, leading with our values, um, ensuring that, uh, that we stay uh, focused on, on the prize at hand and, and making sure that we treat people with respect. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, we want to be proud of what we do. And that's, you know, I'm 100% confident we will get there, um, but we want to get there in the right way. And my job is to get us there in, in the right way and to lead the team in, in a values-based approach.